Good morning and welcome back to Hope's Kitchen. I'm Mark and last week we went to France and came back to America and made omelets and this time we're going to go to China and make some fried rice. This is a quick meal but before we do that the first thing that we do always is wash our hands. As I said today we're going to make fried rice and fried rice is simple, easy and it's a leftovers dish. What you're going to use is what you had for dinner last night. You can have some rice, which has been in the refrigerator. It was cooked last night. Here we have pork. This is pork that uh, I found in my refrigerator. It's still good. Uh, I cooked it up last night. I had diced it, so it makes it perfect for fried rice. Diced means it's a little small square or little pieces. We have some frozen peas, carrots, and corn, uh, which you can use fresh if you have it and you want it, but frozen makes it even quicker. We have some... Uh, scallions or green onions, depends how you want to call them, but they're all chopped up and ready to go. And we have eggs. We have soy sauce, and there's some oil behind me near my wok, and a wok is a fancy Chinese pan, which they use for most of their cooking, but you can do this in, in uh, mom and dad's fry pan if you want. Comes out just as good. Uh, I just happen to like to use a wok because it's fun, and it's fun to say wok. There's also garlic. I forgot that. To get the garlic ready, you're going to have to ask your parents probably because you're going to use a knife and you're going to, this is actually a couple of cloves, but you put it on your cutting board, put your knife flat on it and smash it. And that way you can get all that skin off of it so you're not chewing on hard, husky, yuck. And then you can smash it again. And then remember I told you when you're using a knife, and you make a claw-like thing and you have your knife hit your knuckle. Now I heard one Chinese uh, chef who's a very good chef say, well, you have it hit one knuckle. That way you don't cut all four fingers if you do hit it. So just one knuckle. So it goes on to the garlic, you're on your knuckles and you just chop that very fine. Now there's another way that you can do this fine chop rather than have your hand up against it put your hand flat on top of the one end of your knife, the other end, you just chop it like that. A lot of people like this way better because that's not going to endanger your fingers, you're not going to cut them off. And you just cut it up like that. And there you have minced, as they call it, garlic. Another trick I'll tell you really quickly so you don't ruin your knives, is when you go to scrape up something that you just chopped, Use the dull side, not the sharp side of the knife, to drag across that cutting board. You'll save your, your knife and you'll make it last a lot longer. But you see most people just scrape up using the sharp side. But now, we're ready to go to the wok. Okay, we're in front of the wok, and this wok is extremely hot. If you've ever been in, the rest, in a Chinese restaurant and back in their kitchen, they have like a jet of fire coming up underneath the wok, and it makes it really hot. But you can see the smoke. We're going to put about two tablespoons of oil in here and let that heat up and it does very quickly. Uh, most recipes you see will say use peanut oil and peanut oil, uh, some people can't have it because they're allergic to peanuts. Although some people say that that's not the same, but to me, any oil will do. Uh, peanut oil just uh, keeps its structure a little bit better. Uh, we're going to add the rice. In it goes, you hear that sizzle. If you remember last week I said no sizzle for your omelets, but in this we want to hear some sizzle. We're going to toss it around and break it up because we don't want all that clumpiness of the rice. But the rice is now starting to cook and get hot very quickly. And what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to add the vegetables. Now these vegetables are still a little bit frozen. So it's going to take a tiny bit longer than normal if they were uh, not frozen. They would cook up, cook up real quick. Uh, I was going to bring celery, but then I remembered that celery has a lot of water in it. And you don't want too much liquid in this. Otherwise the dryness of the rice that you're looking for isn't going to be there. So we've got these vegetables nice and cooking up. And now I'm going to add 
most of this meat. I brought a lot of meat. Maybe we'll save a little bit, make a taco out of it later. That's not Chinese, that's Mexican. But here we go, we're stirring it, stirring it. You don't want to let it sit in the bottom of the pan too long, otherwise it'll burn. Uh, it's not like a Spanish paella where they want the rice to get a nice crispiness on the bottom. This is fried rice. We're getting really close. You don't want to add much, if any, salt. I'm not adding any salt to this. I'm going to put in some soy sauce right now. Notice I'm not really measuring this because it depends how much rice and how much everything else you have in there. You just want to have a look. You want to give a little color with that soy sauce. It's going to give it a nice saltiness. I'll probably add just a hair more at the end. In go my green onions because I love green onions and they're good for you and they don't make your breath smell too bad. Now, in goes my garlic. My garlic, I don't want to put it in too early. I maybe put it in a little bit earlier than this sometimes, but garlic, if you cook it too much, it gets bitter. And bitter garlic is no fun at all. So, in it goes, give it a good swirl around. Now, this part is, uh, see that wok is very hot. This part is where I do things differently. Well, a lot of people will take their eggs and they'll scramble them first and they'll, see I'm burning this already. Um, the, uh, they'll scramble their eggs first and then they'll put their rice in. I happen to like to put my eggs in last. I'm gonna use two today. In they go and wipe my hands from any of that gross white egg stuff. And then I just stir this in and I let that cook itself in all that heat. And it gives a sheen to this fried rice. And it cooks just the same as if you had scrambled eggs beforehand. Um, it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong to that. Although some people would tell me, I'm wrong, you're wrong. But this is how I saw somebody do it. And I loved their rice. So that's how I do it. Now, if you look in here, we're almost done. I'm gonna add just a hair. Okay, not hair, that's not a good word for cooking. Just a touch more of that soy sauce and we are virtually done. You can see it's nice and browned. And now we're gonna pick it up and we're gonna take it over to our platter. We dump it on our platter and we have nice pork fried rice. That's enough to feed a family of me, um, or four maybe, uh, or a little less. Or I mean, you can use it as a side or you can use it just for dinner, just like that, or lunch. So enjoy, have a good one. Oh, don't forget the love. Put that in there, you'll have a great meal. Bye.